Two Norwegian journalists have been released after briefly being detained in Qatar. Keep watching for the full story. And the Ministry of Labor alongside Qatar Red Crescent have vowed to fight back against human trafficking. Meanwhile, tech giant Apple is suing an Israeli firm over its use of spyware. And finally, want to see Doha like never before? Stay tuned to find out how. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A couple of Norwegian journalists were arrested by Qatari police on Monday and detained for 24 hours before being released. The two journalists who work for Norway's Broadcasting Corporation were in Qatar to cover the one-year mark before Qatar hosted the FIFA World Cup and the issue of migrant workers in the Gulf state. Despite being given access to the FIFA president, the International Labour Organization and several other locations and people of interest, the journalists admitted to trespassing on private property which resulted in their brief detention. No charges were leveled against the two men who have since returned home. Now, the National Committee to Combat Human Trafficking, which is a part of the Ministry of Labor in Qatar, alongside Qatar Red Crescent Society, have signed an agreement to establish and manage shelters for victims of human trafficking. Earlier, the United Nations had warned that people living in the region were more at risk of falling victim to human trafficking due to the COVID pandemic forcing many out of work and in search of other means of income. Under this new agreement, Qatar will ensure more assistance is provided to victims of human trafficking and help rehabilitate and reintegrate them into society. Technology giant Apple is taking legal action against infamous Israeli surveillance firm NSO Group for targeting its customers through Apple's devices. The surveillance firm has been accused of using the notorious Pegasus software to infect people's devices, with Apple looking to prevent them from causing further abuse and harm to its users. NSO Group has been systematically colluding with foreign governments to spy on government officials, activists, and embassy workers around the world, including Qatar. And finally, get ready to fly! Qatar's popular balloon festival is set to return from December 9 to 18 after a hiatus last year. 40 uniquely created balloons will be displayed to visitors coming into Qatar to watch the FIFA Arab Cup. The public will also be given the added thrill of riding hot air balloons for a reduced price. So if you want a bird's eye view of the city, make sure to mark your calendars. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.